So I don't know about this, it may not help my bottom line like single iota zero, 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 but I tell you what, you know when you work with me, we have fun and I'm always saying, if you wanna grow, get out of your comfort zone. Hey, uh, look, uh, oh, uh, hey, hey, what you doing? <laughs> Okay guys, um, let me ask you a really good question. Number one, how often are you on social media? For me, about a year and a half ago, it was all about the likes. I need likes, I need people to give me some love, all that type of stuff. But here's what I found out. You know what? I'm after leads, I'm here to help people, I'm here to provide solutions. So leads is important, yeah? In your business and in any type of business. So what does it look like to try and get leads? So first off, let's think about some of the things that you may want to look at. Um, have you committed to frequency? Have you committed to consistency with your social media? Yeah? And here's another one. Have you committed to storytelling? So what does storytelling look like? Um, I remember a client putting up a, a post and, and we'd been brainstorming a couple of ideas of how to tell a story. And I remember the people, he, he sold for, um, you know, a, a young couple, you know, Tim and Sue, and they just had this little boy named Matteo. And I said, dude, you've really got to put that into a story, into a post. Don't say how wonderful you sold the property for and how great you are. Um, I said, you really got to just bring it down into a story. And he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, well, what was the reason why they sold? And he said, well, we've had this new little baby, newborn Matteo, and they're in a one bedroom apartment. They need something a little bit bigger because eventually they want a bit of room for Matteo to run around in the backyard and they're probably gonna think about having another, you know, get a brother or sister for Matteo. I said, perfect. Write something like this. Um, meet Tim and Sue and little Matteo. Um, Matteo is a recent little addition to the family and um, right now, they're sort of getting a little bit stuck in terms of size in their property because they need something a little bit more, much more bigger. Their main concern was they bought the home or the apartment three years ago, didn't really know if property prices had gone up or gone down and felt a little bit nervous about possibly selling because maybe there wasn't gonna be enough money made in the last three years of selling this property. So the first step that they thought was, why don't we just get a market appraisal and see what our home is worth today? And then we can make that decision, should we decide to stay and continue for another year or two and see if the market does improve or should we sell now because we might be sitting on an extra 10% in growth since we purchased a home three years ago. So you encapsulated all that into a story and right down the bottom, you have some sort of call to action. The call to action, should, would you like to learn more? And they click on that, it could go to your landing page, it could go to your website, or could actually go to the actual their story of a video of them playing, talking about that beautiful experience that they had with you, the agent, and how you understood them. So there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. Or, and I said, give me another demographic of someone you sold for. And he said, oh, well, Bob and Sue, I sold for them three months ago. They were downsizers. All the kids had moved out and they just wanted to start traveling more in their life because for the last 20 odd years, they'd just been work, 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 and they're just running to retirement now. I said, beautiful. So meet Bob and Sue. Um, here's a photo of them um, here on the Great Ocean Road. Um, they recently sold their home because their children had all moved out and they wanted a little bit more freedom and a bit more travel in, in, in this stage of their life. Um, they didn't know what their home was worth, so the first step they decided to do was get a market appraisal. When they bought the home back in 1995, the medium house price in Smithville was you know, 410,000. Today, the medium house price in Smithville is 1.56 million. I'd like to know how much equity and profit is in your home today and have a bit of freedom like Bob and Sue, learn more. The call to action down the bottom. That story, because then you do something on social media where if you've got a suburb, you just hit everybody who's over 60 years of age. Tim and Sue and Matteo, hit every young family that lives in that area on a Facebook post, sponsor it, do an ad on it, and it gets to those relevant people. But the connection will be, and where all the magic happens, is when they see that story. Because I've got to tell you, my friends, that's where the power is.